During the medieval plague, four thieves in Marseille robbed the dead without becoming sick. When captured, the men revealed a mixture of aromatics they used to protect themselves against the deadly plague. The thieves' secret formula was posted for everyone's benefit. When the Spanish conquistadors invaded the Aztecs, they were amazed by the abundance of medicinal herbs found in Montezuma's botanical garden. Napoleon and his bride Josephine used essential oils as perfumes. Occasionally, Napoleon would not approve of the oil Josephine selected, hence the famous phrase, Not tonight, Josephine. By the late 1800s, pharmaceutical researchers began to isolate the active compounds in natural remedies. By the early 1900s, impressed by synthetic drug manufacturing and quick-fix treatments, the public shifted allegiance to allopathic medicine. During this time, the knowledge and use of essential oils were largely forgotten. A terrible accident in his laboratory caused Dr. René Maurice Gattefossé, a cosmetic chemist, to be burned severely. He covered his burns with lavender essential oil. Amazed by the positive effect the lavender had on pain and the subsequent quick healing, Gattefossé focused his research on the healing powers of essential oils. Dermatological therapy would thus develop into aromatherapy, or a therapy employing aromatics in a sphere of research, opening enormous vistas to those who have started exploring it. Doctor, there are more wounded and we're out of antibiotics. Hand me the essential oils. Using Gattefossé's research, Jean Valnet, a French doctor during World War II, successfully treated wounded soldiers with essential oils. The antibacterial properties of the oils helped the wounds heal faster and with less infection. In recent years, both doctors and the public have rediscovered the medical value of essential plant oils, but the idea of using their properties to maintain or regain health goes back to antiquity. Dr. Jean Lepraz, a student of Dr. Valnet and a member of the prestigious phytoaromatherapy research team in Paris, discovered that microbes could not survive in the presence of some essential oils. Essential oils are especially valuable as antiseptics because their aggression toward microbial germs is matched by their total harmlessness to tissue. One of the chief defects of chemical antiseptics is that they are likely to be as harmful to the cells of the organism as to the cause of the disease. On a personal quest to discover the keys to health and longevity, Gary Young traveled to Europe in search of lost essential oil knowledge. Returning to the United States, Gary Young was determined to restore the forgotten therapeutic secrets of essential oils. I returned home from France. I brought seeds with me. I had a little quarter of acre of land in Spokane, Washington. I built a small greenhouse, and I started experimenting. In this one quarter acre garden, Gary Young cultivated sage, clary sage, thyme, lavender, bergamot, tarragon, and German chamomile. Gary built his first essential oil distiller by welding two pressure cookers together with a swan neck of copper pipe. The distiller was placed on the kitchen stove, and the water for the cooler came from the kitchen sink. Once I confirmed that I could grow and produce therapeutic quality essential oils, I had to have more land, and I found a 160-acre ranch in the St. Mary's area that was virgin soil, and that began the future. Structuring their growing business, Gary and Mary Young formed the company Young Living Essential Oils. Seeking additional fertile land to produce high-quality essential oils, Young Living Essential Oils secured a 1,600-acre herb farm in Mona, Utah. I knew in order for us to have the quality of oils that I wanted to produce, that I would have to create my own equipment. So I designed and built the first stainless steel vertical distillery that maintains and captures those finest molecules for the therapeutic action of pure essential oils. Due to the unmatched quality of their essential oils, the business grew rapidly and Young Living Essential Oils expanded into Canada and opened the Australian and Japanese markets. 
Determined to save the disappearing lavender fields of France, Young Living purchased a farm in the scenic hills of Provence. Dr. Terry Friedman, former medical director of the Phoenix Health and Medical Center, established through scientific research that attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in children could be successfully treated with essential oils. Around the world, scientific research continues to unlock the healing secrets of essential oils. Hospitals, the centers of allopathic medicine, are examining and implementing aromatherapy and essential oils. The University of Pittsburgh Medical Center uses aromatherapy to attract patients by tapping into one of the hottest trends in modern healthcare. Dr. Alan Hirsch, director of the Smell and Taste Treatment and Research Foundation in Chicago, said that the future of medicine lies in aromatherapy. In the very near future, according to Dr. Hirsch and other leading medical professionals, every home medicine chest will contain essential oils. As a global leader in the research and development of innovative essential oils, essential oil-enhanced supplements, and health-related products, Young Living Essential Oils continues to set the pace for the alternative healthcare industry. Young Living Essential Oils empowers individuals and families to achieve their highest potential and enjoy increased physical, mental, emotional, and financial health. Essential Oils, a gift from nature, the healing essence of life. With Young Living Essential Oils, the golden past of essential oils becomes your golden future.